We're recording. What's up? It's Has Discusses. We're here with Ella Floyd. She's an artist and photographer. Do you have any other titles that you think the viewers should know about you? Um, I do a lot of album art. Um, I'm going to school for um, music marketing. So that's what I'm... I do photography and posters, mostly. Well, as we were discussing earlier, that's how I found you through... I did an interview with someone that it didn't get published, but I don't know. I think I followed you or you followed me after it happened. I don't know how that shit went down. Yeah. But we follow each other on Instagram and then I saw your stuff and I was like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to do an interview. Um, But so you do a lot of like cover art and you do posters for events and all that cool shit. You said you said you were doing a shoot yesterday. Who was that for? What was that about? Um, <clears throat> it's for a magazine I shoot for. Um, it's called Foster Magazine. After this, I can send you the link if you want their Instagram. Um, yeah. I do a lot of fashion photography also. Uh, I'm not really like passionate about it, but like that's how I got into photography. So um, I was doing a streetwear shoot in Savannah. I'm in Georgia right now. Oh, so snap. I was doing. Yeah, yeah. I was the doing nice a there? streetwear shoot. It was really nice yesterday. It's like, I don't know if you can even hear it, but it's raining pretty hard right now. But oh. it's like, it's okay. It's not really cold. It's just raining. I was just asking because it's probably better than up north where I am. Um, yeah, I, I'm from Virginia. So it was, I mean, it's not as cold as it can get, but I prefer this. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I envy you right now. So where was the shoot at like what were you doing specifically was it just like someone wearing like good clothes or was it like something like were you hanging off a building or something or um so in savannah there's a school called um it's called scad it's a fashion design school primarily and um it was they were skating basically so i was just they were they were wearing clothes that like someone had designed and I just kind of hung out and took pictures and skating and stuff. That sounds, that sounds cool. Um, you said that it was kind of a uh, boring compared to your other stuff. Is that what you, what you meant earlier? Like you, um, you'd rather I do like, your music shit more. Yeah. So, um, I have always done music stuff and I like did it because I've just always been involved in it and I just find it way more fun. I mean, I'm not really that passionate about like fashion. So, I mean, I think it's cool. I just like don't really. But you still think it's good to have different, what do they call them? Like types of art that you do, even though you respect others. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like I do different types of videos and I could tell you like, Mm. I'd rather do an interview than make a fucking reaction video to some music video. Or something like that. Like, yeah, I prefer different things. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I still do them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw on your website something interesting, and um, you. I want to ask you, who do you credit a majority of your artistic drive to? Um, I have always been really into like neo wave um, photography and like um surrealism so like um throughout high school I kind of like really tapped into like that movement because both of those movements it was just like all these people doing like a shit ton of drugs and they were like just like putting out like raw raw art and like just like an exhibit for that that, right or whatever the fuck it is the drug abuse series on your website yes yes I do and so it's like it's so raw but it's also like really kind of like trippy like the colors are all like fucked up and like distorted and stuff so that's like where I got most of my stuff um like as I've been in college um I've gotten more like exposure to like um marketing like cooler market I'm from a small yeah I'm from a small town in Virginia and so now I go to college in a city the capital of my state actually so it's like I'm seeing like a lot of really cool shit and so I've like gotten more like of a style because of like the people I'm meeting and like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know who comes to my head when it comes to that surreal, 
whatever you're talking about right there is like reminds me of like Travis Sherwood. I don't know if you know who that is. That photographer. I'm not familiar with that. That yeah. Um, but actually, like, there was a photographer. I can't think of the name now. I'll have to find it later. I will DM you. He does Travis's. a lot of like. Account. Yes, please do. I always love looking at. You'd love to. There's like a photographer. See that. That I've been into recently. I don't even remember who it is. I'll have to find it. I just got one of his books, but um, he like takes a lot of pictures of like rappers but oh. they're like who is this they're like kind of, i don't know i gotta figure it out later but like i was just like flipping through i love like looking at like they're called coffee table books it's just like photography books yeah i have and, one of them for Anzo um, adams i don't know if you know that is yeah yeah and so i was like in barnes and noble just like looking through and i really like peep and like i opened it up and there was like a huge spread about peep and i was like oh my god this guy's six Little bucks peep, so. yeah yeah yeah, have you seen I have you seen the documentary for that? Yeah, heartbreaking shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love to see like I saw someone some girl do a compilation where it was like, um, me and Tracy were always together, and then it shows the two best friends hanging out, but they have yeah, the audio yeah. from it on TikTok, and I'm just like, I never thought a documentary would too. be that fucking impactful because like I don't like. No, yeah. yeah, I put off watching it for a really long time because. I knew it was going to be, like, really sad. But then, like, I also kind of thought that, like, I'm not really into documentaries that much. But when I watched it, like, it was really well done. Like, I was not expecting it to be that well done. I was actually really impressed. Yeah, it's all editing when it comes to documentary. I feel like that's the most important part when it comes to documentaries is, like, this order, that order, make this shit. I want, like, I want someone to cry right here, you know? Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I want someone to cry when there's like nothing on the screen and just the audio of like the phone call where the the ambulance yes. it's like oh my god. Oh god. Yes, that was yes. Like yeah. Yeah, shout out to whoever made that documentary. Um I feel like they could have put some no jumper footage in there cuz there was a lot of vlogs with like no jumper. I don't know if you're familiar with mm-hmm. them. Yeah. But that would have been cool to see um yeah and all that. But, um, yeah, so what's your favorite couple of Peep songs? Oh, Lord. I don't even know. I actually, I really like the Crybaby album. I have a tattoo, like a huge, like, chess piece about it. Um, I don't know. I really like that Instagram album. I like. Somebody wants to see it. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll probably post it sooner than later. But, um,. I really like that album. I don't know. I like. I didn't really like the Come Over When You're Sober albums. Like I didn't really like vibe with. I like Hellboy. Hellboy is my favorite. I like it. Yeah, Hellboy is my favorite. The picture album. though on the front. That's Amazing. a good fucking I love picture. That shit. Yeah, that's a really good picture. I love that shit. Yeah. Um. And I love the yeah, whole schema like, era from him, like Lil Peep Part One. Yeah, yeah, I do. Too. I know I like, a lot of members of Schema though, so like. I've interviewed some of them and shit. That's sick as fuck. They're cool to, like, talk to and stuff, but, like, I interview them, but when I interview them, I'm like, I'm not going to bring up Lil Peep. There's no point in talking about it. I don't want to put that in the... Lil Peep's best friend is interviewed. Like, I don't want to do that. That would be so awkward. Yeah. That's, like... (laughs) Yeah. Because... But still, they're cool people. And they're still making music, some of them, but... Yeah. Um, I've been more into um, I've been really into Ghost recently he's more been, than Lil Peep I would guess done a different direction I guess Com- yeah he yeah. doesn't sound like the um, cause he used to kind of sound like Ethel Wolf or something mm-hmm. but now he's kind of yeah. like more rockish you know yeah I got into him I um so like you don't listen to Jay Green so like you don't listen to Jay Green or like Craig Zen that much? No, no. Okay. Oh shit, my alarm went off. Oopsie. Okay, yeah, speaking on photographers that work with specific artists, like, I was thinking of, um, Drake's photographer, Theo Scudra. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he did the, um, mm-hmm. he was pretty good, but, and he did the Tizzy Slide music video. 
that wasn't really a unique music video. It was just like him showing his house. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Yeah. We get it. <laughs> yeah. We get it, Drake. We get it, Drizzy Drake. Drake's in the room with me. I got a cardboard cutout of him. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah. That's that's my favorite Christmas present right there. Um, I didn't even ask for it. Anyways, I saw in your story you listen to Beach Bunny. Do you, do you like them? I do. So, um... I don't know. I wasn't really into like the whole SoundCloud, like emo rap, trap metal thing until I started. I dated, I was talking to you earlier about this. I dated a member of City Talks and who you interviewed, but it never got released. Um, I wasn't really that into it until I started dating him. But um, normally I listen to a lot of like uh, music from the Riot Girl movement and I really like Beach Bunny. Um, the what girl movement? A lot of, it's called Riot Girl. It was what? like based out of the, it was based out of the eighties, and it was like kind of a feminist like punk movement. Sounds um, cool. Like, it is pretty cool, and I've gotten way more into it because where I go to school, there's a lot of like representation of that. I'm not sure why it is, but because it's I a actually, college like, and young with... people are more politically active. That's just my assumption. Yeah. But and so I meet a lot of like really sick girls that are into that, and so. Yeah, I mostly listen. I mean, I listen to a lot more like more diverse music than now. But a few years ago, that's like all I would listen to. That that was, was like Beach the only genre. Yeah, basically Beach Bunny, Beach Bunny type energy. Like Clara or fucking Girl in Red or some shit. <laughs> I never. I don't know. I had a hard time getting into Clara. I don't know. And then like what? I like would listen to a few you? songs, and then. Well, there was, like, a big, like, thing that came out recently. I don't know if you saw that, but, like, everyone's like, she's a bitch. And I was like, oh. What do you mean? Like, in person? Like, yeah, like, people say that she's, like, really, really rude. Like, in person. Like, really, like, snobby and stuff. Which, like, she's well, she a grew up in a rich. She grew up in a rich family with yeah. people that were into music. But then again, though, like, I don't know. I was talking with my friend about this. I was like... If so many people like care about you and are obsessed with you, do you really think you sleep well at night? Like I was thinking, I was talking to my friend. I was like, Drake probably does not sleep well at night. Like he's yeah. probably like, I got yeah, thirty fucking no. people that want to feature from me. Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I bet she's probably like, yeah. And she is obsessed over by a lot of guy friends I know, and it's like, okay, bro. Yeah, no. And it's just like, I know what you mean for sure. <laughs> I think out of all the, I think she's more obsessed over than fucking Billie Eilish or something. I don't know. Yeah. Billie Eilish, really. though, I think she's probably a nice person. Maybe. Yeah, I don't she know. like seems cool. Like she has a good. I don't know. I don't really like her music. She seems like a cool person. I don't really like her music. But... I don't. I just think that people should not think that her music's like alt rock at all. It's literally just pop music. No. It's literally it's like pop music. Gay, it's literally like Lady Gaga, except I like her music a bit more than Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga though. Yeah. Lady Gaga is like like cool runnings. Like you know that movie? Mm-hmm. Really alright, yeah. but you always go back to it. You know? Yes, the, yes, I know what you mean. Like I was Lady Gaga for Halloween when I was like a kid. Like when I was in like elementary school. Yeah, she's like Drake, like really alright, but I always go back to it. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> You were Lady Gaga for Halloween. Like, what did you dress up as? Like, she's done so many fucking different costumes. I did the one. So I, this is like my natural hair color. I've always had like really platinum blonde hair. And so um, at the time I had like a bob with bangs. So I did the, I don't even know what music video it's well, from. What she year has was like this? the glasses that have like the. Oh, oh is God. it the uh, paparazzi one? No, shit. Yeah, no. I don't, it was the, you know the glasses she has, like, with the rhinestones on them and shit? And she, like, wore, like, a lightning bolt on her face? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Shit. I'm looking That's this up right now. <laughs> I can't show you it, obviously, but, like, I mean, I don't want to share a screen. That shit's annoying, but I know what you mean, though. I'm looking. Dude, she's yeah. got some weird costumes, man. Yeah, she really does. I think she looks like fucking the... meat, meat dress. Uh did you see the one where she wore like a um see-through dress yeah yeah that was a big deal when i was like six years old or whenever that came out <laughs> hey, my God. Yeah. Like, you know what i mean but yeah. i think she looked her best in um a star is born 
I did. I love that movie. Like, I saw it in theaters with my friend. Like, I was not like I'm not gonna spoil it, obviously, but like it took such a turn that like I was just not expecting like at all. Yeah. I love that movie. It was really good. I mainly I'm not like a musical guy. Like I'm like I'm like mm-hmm. one of those guys who thinks like musicals are corny. But I like musicals that yeah. are only about the music industry. Like, Pitch Perfect is a great example yeah. of a really fucking good mm. Like, because there's actual meaning to the reason they're singing. Okay. Uh, Wizard of Oz yeah. is an upset, uh, exception because that's just the, that's the goat of musicals. It's classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. I know what you mean. But like, you know, pit, uh, do you like Pitch Perfect too? That's another music industry musical. Yes, yes. I used to watch that like when I was like, younger, all the fucking time. I so, love that movie. Yeah, the third one was horrible, but the, I like the second one more than the first one. So, like, or would you disagree with me? Be honest. I don't know. I kind of really like the first one. I don't know. It's just like it's kind of like a comfort movie for me. Like, it's obviously like not like a great like film, elf. like groundbreaking shit, but like it's like Elf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Elf's been Energy. getting annoying yeah. lately. I, I, I actually have never seen it. I've never seen any of like the like Christmas, like classic Christmas movies. What? What are you doing? Yeah, during Christmas? I was having a do you watch like? Do you watch like Jason Bourne or whatever? Like, I just like don't like. I was talking to my um, roommate the other day about this. I was like, I just like. Because she's Jewish. We were talking about, like, she was like, I've never seen Home Alone. I was like, shit, I haven't either. Like, that's, like, not. Did you watch like, it? I haven't seen it. She's like. Like, did no, you watch I it after talking never about seen it? it? No. Still? Okay. Nah, I don't want to. It's just, like, I think out of all the um, Christmas movies, Home Alone is, like, the most rewatchable um, because it's, like, genuinely yeah. funny and well written. Like, it's not too, like. Because Christmas movies do have a habit of being fucking corny and just being like, I don't know, you know what I mean. Just some of them are just like corny and yeah. I use the word corny too much. I've used it probably five times this interview. Anyways, <laughs> um, do you want to go in how you did work with City Toxin? Because that might interest my music yeah, sure. industry fans of the channel. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah. So how'd you start? Um... Working? So, um, I was dating one of the members that was really there, um, I met him on Tinder, basically, and, uh, we started dating, and I, um, it just came up that, like, I do music, marketing and stuff, and so, I don't know, it's just, like, free art, and it's like, you wanna do my album cover, you're my girlfriend, you wanna do it, and so, yeah, sure, whatever, so... Yeah, I did some of it, but at like certain points, it was kind of hard to do. Like, I did mostly like album art. I couldn't really um, photograph him because, like, a couple months into our relationship, he moved down to like Tampa, Sarasota area, and I live in Virginia. So, I did mostly like album art and stuff, but it was cool. Yeah, I see. I saw a couple of pictures and um, that you did with him or something, and they were pretty cool. Like the one where he has the tattoo under his eye, I think that was one. Yeah, of them. that was a cool one. Um, I liked that. That was really fun. Yeah, I did that shirt too that he was wearing. You made the shirt. In that, yeah, yeah. You make shirts too. I do. I kind of like have just gotten into like where I get bored of certain shit, and so I'll just like do something like totally out of pocket, and. Yeah, out of I your comfort shirt. zone <laughs> until it becomes your comfort zone yeah that's how i got into photography i used to hate photography like i thought it was like boring as fuck but i got more into it once i started doing film and stuff i think photography though it really depends who you're taking pictures of you yeah because I mean? when i like used to take pictures it was like of weddings and like oh god family pictures and stuff and i was like this is boring as fuck like i don't even like marriage like this is so boring you don't even like marriage i was like this is literally so fucking boring and so once i like started taking pictures of shit that i like actually liked i was like okay this is kind of sick actually yeah like i like i went to like i took a photography i did a photo shoot with my friend um i'll send you my photography account later if Mm -hmm. you care but yeah um 
we went to like those places like hello graffiti you know like graffiti broken down power lines abandoned buildings yeah and mm-hmm. he's has his giant ass van and he's like spray painting anarchy symbols and i'm just like That's click click fuck. and he and i was yeah. like grab a grab a bottle of that smirin' off and drink it and look at the highway, you know, <laughs> like, whoa, you know, yes. that's some fun shit. Yeah, but if it's like, I know what you mean. But if it's like two people at the beach and they're kissing, it's like, like, yeah, no, it, like man. I do it. I'll do it from time to time because like I'll charge for it now, but like I'm not going to like go out of my way to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't I don't want to recreate things that I've already seen. Like I want to like fucking adventure yeah shit. that's exact that's exactly how i feel i had a conversation the other day with someone because she's a photographer from where i used to live and she didn't get accepted to the school i go to and i was like i'm like not saying your art isn't good like you're great but like it's been done you have to do shit that like is breaking boundaries that has a message you have a voice like no one wants to see you know a couple getting engaged like that's happened it's been done it's like an it's like i like the art that's like it's like a rapper who sounds like someone else you know what i mean like a artist who sounds like someone else like a rapper who sounds like someone else like let me think of an example of somebody that i don't know because i'm starting to know a lot of fucking rappers and um i don't want to be like ah you're trash (laughs) um like a boogie a boogie he sounds like exactly like speaker knockers um recipe speaker yeah knockers. i don't know if you know who speaker knockers is yeah 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 so there's that and uh Annalie choppa sounded a lot like nba young boy but then Annalie choppa is doing his different shit where he's rapping about how he's sober like cool you know mm-hmm. and he's still rapping yeah. about meditation yeah. that's a good fucking direction i feel like a boogie should learn yeah <laughs> from that so a boogie if you're watching i mean that with the i mean that in the most helpful way possible not in the way where i don't like your music because sometimes when you copy something it can be good but it, it doesn't mm-hmm. what do they call it? it doesn't last you know what yeah I mean? yeah i know what you mean yeah yeah so when you're working with a client are you more so working with the client like the person who hires you or are you working with yourself more like do you rather would you rather let them do your own thing or do you like working with them more um no i mostly um i mostly just say like do whatever the fuck you're doing just like pretend i'm not even here just like fuck around with your friends have a good time and i I would rather capture like genuine moments rather than like editorial shit you know like move over here in this position and you're not like that you're just like (laughs) no you're just like you act like you aren't even there yeah basically like if i'm taking pictures like just for fun like I try to go out of my way to make sure that like they don't see me because it's like people when they see that there's a camera there they'll try to put on like kind of a front they're like oh I have to oh, look God. like sick I have to look cool and it just never looks genuine cool. I don't know like yeah yeah it's not like genuine. I want you to I want to capture like genuine moments rather than just like move over here and like tilt your hips to the left like I don't like that shit but I have respect there for There's an I audience just... for that, but it's mainly for, like, yeah. fucking, like, if you're in a, like, if you're in, like, a place with, like, a, a pink background, and there's, like, it's, like, in a studio, and, like, there's, like, a chair that the person's sitting on. Like, if it's, like, for, like, yeah. a magazine or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess yeah, there, there's exactly. always, it always depends for something. I've always, I've been starting to notice that yeah. everything depend. It, it, I don't know. There's no finite answer to anything. Really, unless you know math, mean, exactly. except for math, because fuck math. Fuck like, math, bro. Oh my god, I hate math. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're both artists, but I mean, you probably you're a bit more professional. Is interview an art? Would you ever consider interviewing to be an art, or is it just like? No, I definitely think it is. I definitely, definitely think it is. Like, I could not come up with fucking questions, like. Yeah, it takes a while. It takes a couple hours. Yeah, (laughs) and like the research and stuff, like that's insane. Like mad respect for that. I I can't do that. No, I once interviewed someone, and I was like, "So you play Roblox on the Xbox 360 in 2017? (laughs) Do you still do that?" No, literally. 
like I remember I told you earlier that like uh, me and that other girl were sitting in the room when you did the interview for City Talks and, and you were like so like who's that girl like with the fuck tall tattoo and I was like damn like did research like looked through Instagram yeah. and shit like tagged photos and shit I was like that's kind of sick yeah it is really <laughs> it's fun though cause like cause you're about to talk with them about it like I think that'd be creepy if I'm never talking to them about it um, not yeah. really creepy like it's an excuse to be creepy. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, dude, it's a lot of fun. But um, so you do a lot of posters for events. Is that what you enjoy doing the yes. most? Is that is that you're like, this is it? Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, I really enjoy doing. Yeah, I like doing event posters a lot. I've kind of gotten in a lull with it, obviously, because of like COVID and stuff. But I used to do it a lot. I don't know, like you saw, you probably saw on my website. Like I used to do a lot for this band called Orange Culture. They used to have shows like all the fucking time. I used to, I just really enjoy that shit because yeah. they just tell me like the details, and I'll just like run with it. And I really, I really enjoyed that. So, um, like, how are they doing now? Like, what are they? Are they not doing concerts? Or are they just like working on their music? Like, do you know them like that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm not, like, that close with them. Um, I mean, I follow them on Instagram, and, like, I talk to them every once in a while. They're just, I think they're just grinding out music and yeah, just kind of doing that shit. I, they're not doing concerts, obviously, just, like, out of respect and, like, the pandemic and everything, but they're yeah. doing shit, I'm sure. Yeah, they it's just more really easier to just, like, stay again. inside and just fucking strum or whatever they're doing. Uh, yeah. What type of music are they, though? They're psychedelic rock, Ooh. so yeah, they all live in a house together. So I guess like they have perfect opportunity to just whenever the fuck they want, just do shit. Chemistry, yeah. There's a thing about home studios, which like, like I know a lot of artists that like have done do just music in their house and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's like it would be fun to do that, but occasionally like I've been to, like a studio session with some people, just like vlog it, and it's like fucking. In general, watching people make music is insanely, like, awesome. Yeah. Because it's so... I was talking with someone. I was like, isn't it so boring that we could just open our phone and listen to music whenever the fuck we want? If you think... If you really yeah. think about it. If it's really boring. Yeah. Like, but, like, <laughs> back in, like, uh, 600 years ago, you'd have to go to, like, some middle of some town square and there'd be like yeah. 30 fucking people you know like strumming and creating it in front of you like yeah yeah i know what you mean i always like i've dated a lot of musicians and like it's always really interesting to me like they like just the communication like i don't know they just like connect on such a strange way like with city talks and like they'll literally just like find a beat like they'll just be fucking around and they find a beat and they just like do it that's crazy to me. I could never do that shit. And um, I saw on your Instagram you had this funny post. It was like, I'm attracted to SoundCloud rappers. Oh, my God. That was yeah. the funniest shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, you know. If you're not a SoundCloud I mean, rapper, don't hit her up. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, like, ashamed of it, obviously. But, like, you know, it's kind of funny. Cause, you know, yeah, whatever. SoundCloud but, rappers. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> so what do you enjoy most about creating when it's finished or when it's you're in the middle of it doing those small changes? Oh, wow. Um, damn, that's kind of hard. Um, I really like doing it because I like really the process. like yes i love talking to the people like i'll send them it and they'll be like can you do this really weird like specific change I'm like yes of course i can do that it's i just think it's really cool that like i prefer when people like don't just like i'll send them the first thing i do and they're like oh sick okay done so that's uh, boring to like, you okay. is when someone's just like it's all right yeah. it's done you know yeah and it's like oh it's good it's good i'm like i like this has my voice obviously in it because i made it like i want it to be yours like i'm not making this for me i'm making this for you i want it to be what you want like specifically exactly what you want i prefer that because i get to know people a lot better that way you get to know like what they prefer about 
as shit and not just the art and probably yeah. they'll talk about that maybe they'll bring it yeah seems like it's an interesting way to connect in a way mm-hmm. so you know we were on the topic of music how does music affect your process like do you listen to something while you make it or is it like dead silence is it like or do you are you jamming while you're fucking doing what you do i listen to really really loud music <laughs> like i have it i have um i don't know if you've ever heard of this i have synesthesia which um helps me a lot with my art actually but it's like a mental it's technically yes it, it technically is a mental disorder but it's like um when i hear sounds i can like see color if that makes sense so, so when i'm doing posters hear colors yeah basically like every voice that i know has like a color every like brain has a color and well, shit like what, that what so like when i'm voice? making posters what's the color of my voice it's like a like burnt orange <laughs> kind of that sounds horrible <laughs> thank you no um, it's like it's like you know the color of like leaves when they change color of what when they change like leaves when they change in the fall oh it's so, like that so it's autumn yeah 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 interesting um so i like i'll listen to the the specific bands that i'm doing or like artist music and it like helps me out sometimes sometimes i'm just like what the fuck that's not gonna be good i'm not doing that but, what do you mean yeah, not, doing, I, not doing what? Like playing the music? No, like I'll play the music and like the stuff that comes to my head. I'm like, oh God, that would be fucking ugly. I'm not doing that. Um, So I'll just like, I'll still listen to the music and I'll like take things. But like sometimes it'll just be like colors that just don't fucking go together or like just so like really ugly ass colors. Process, and, like, is what the answer yeah. is. So really, that's, that's cool. Yeah, it really does. That's cool. I like blast that shit it probably gets on my friends nerves like my roommates i have a couple like housemates probably gets on the nerves but yeah i listen to music a lot when i do shit but like if i'm in the middle of editing something and i gotta like look at i gotta hear the video i'm like turning everything yeah. off like yeah. i'm like okay yeah. but if it's like if i'm just uploading shit and like writing down the description of everything because i upload the, the i upload a lot of stuff and i don't want to talk about that but mm-hmm. there's a lot of uploading and putting things on putting the link on twitter putting the link on reddit putting the link on yeah whatever. i don't do reddit as much anymore because like it's just mm-hmm. toxic like i don't like it yeah i know what you mean i used to i used to be on it a lot but not anymore yeah my friend is like my one of my best friends her name's Gigi. you've probably like seen her on my instagram and shit but she is a cinema major she mm. has that shit completely silent like i'll be like because she's doing it for school so like it's technically homework and i'll be like be like come up to my room like we can do homework together and she's like okay but like you have to be fucking silent like don't speak it has to be quiet or i can't do it I'm like, okay and it never works out but she has to have shit like silent which is i mean i respect that but i can't i can't do it yeah some people are wired differently i guess um she's- so besides that shoot we were talking about in the beginning, do you have anything you want to talk about that you're working on before we wrap this up? Um, I, not really. I'm just, I'm on break right now. Um, I do a lot of shit during the school year. Um, I'm going to school for art. So I do a lot more shit during like classes and stuff just because like not only stuff I have to do for class, but like, I'm learning a lot of like crazy like techniques and stuff that I have never even considered. So I like take stuff that I've learned in class. And I'm like, oh, I'm doing that for fun. So not really. I'm just kind of like, I got a new 35 millimeter camera for Ooh. Christmas. So I've just been, I've been fucking around with that. But like, is it like a what type really of camera having... is it? Like, like what it's do you mean? a Canon, uh, Canon. Oh God, what is it? Canon. A E one, so it takes like Mirrorless. rolls of film. Oh shit! It's like film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I have to develop it and like get the negatives and stuff. Mm. That's that's something I never really gotten into. I'm just a fucking. I'm like, 
normal digital right now, drawing. Oh, you know, not special. right. Yes, I used I used to I used to only do digital, and then like I recently got into like I buy expired film, Ooh. and like I really like the way. I really like the way that turns out because it like fucks up the colors and like it'll make like ghost images and stuff and like sometimes even like um, I haven't experienced this but like I've seen people where like they'll buy expired film and there will be like negatives still on the film so like the pictures they take like have an overlay of the old pictures that were on it. How do you find expired film like do you eBay that shit or is it like I just go to thrift stores, like Salvation oh. Army. Yeah, and they, I mean, those places take, like, fucking everything. That sounds... I gotta get in the, the uh, shooting on film world. I feel like it'd probably be more expensive and time-consuming, but it's fucking probably sounds worth it, Worth it, I guess. I don't know. I haven't it is. It, but... it is. Ex- it is really expensive. It's, like film like okay the cameras are fucking expensive just because they don't make them really anymore that's like the worst part is like buying like the lenses and stuff the film can be expensive like i think if you buy like new film it comes in a pack of three and it's like 18 dollars. which like since there's like a limited amount it like does add up really quickly but um i'm really lucky because like because i'm an art student i um can just develop it at my school so i don't have to pay for it uh yeah so you don't gotta go to the camera store and be like i'll be in here for an hour or however they do it yeah yeah you're yeah. just like i'm I don't, gonna go into the and they, room and uh, fucking you got the key they or whatever take forever too yeah yeah i have a like card it's, it's a, a terrible swipe picture card. but anyway yeah. yeah is school like weird though this year for you like are you like still going to class and shit or is it just like wear yeah. your mask in and out um so i did have in-person classes um a couple weeks into the semester actually like i broke my femur <laughs> so i What's a like femur? emailed my teachers it's like the biggest bone in your leg are you on a, um, are you on like crutches right now no i had a um I was for a really long time. I had a boot. <laughs> um, okay. So I, like, emailed my teachers, and I was like, can I, like, not come? Because, <laughs> like, I don't want to walk. Like, my campus is in the middle of a city, so I was like, I don't, like, want to walk, like, miles to go to class because I have a boot. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's fine. So I just stay in my house and do my classes from there. We have, like, a space where we do shit, but, yeah. It's, like... I'm not really, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything. I'm not really big into, like, the huge, like, rager parties, so. Okay, so you're not, like, you don't think that school is only valuable for the stupid parties? You're, like, actually, like, having fun doing what you're doing? No, yeah, yeah. Most of of my fun memories are. Like, have you ever seen 22 Jump Street? Yeah. You know how, like, the one group is, like, partying and then the other group's just, like, we just like to have a, some wine and talk. And no, literally, exactly, exactly. Like, literally, like, on Halloween, it was, like, so weird because, like, we would see, like, all these people, like, these girls, like, dressed, like... Yeah, like, I'm not, like, I'm not, that. I'm not introverted, but I still don't like to be around 30 fucking people. Yeah, like, I guess it's just because all of us are art students, but, like, none of us find that shit fun. Like, it just gets boring, then you just end up standing alone, and then you go home it's like not fun like literally on halloween like where i go to school there's like a really big river with like these like really flat huge rocks on it and so we just went out there and like had a bonfire and like smoked weed (laughs) and it was was outstanding outstanding bonfires i gotta have one of them i haven't had one of them since like july or some shit i think bonfires in autumn are fucking better though yeah yeah it was really fun and it, we did it on like halloween night it was like also like all my friends like my not all of them but like most of my like girlfriends they're like really into like witchy stuff and like what does there that was, like, mean a big, though like, i don't get what that means like i i've heard i've been with girls who were like i'm a witch i'm into doing spells and i'm like i don't know what the fuck that what, what's a sigil what the fuck like what do they mean i have no idea what a sigil is um i don't know they just like they just like fuck around with like herbs and shit like i don't know like 
it's like kind of like it, what I like compare it to in my head to like make it make sense is like I compare it to like you know the like middle aged women that are like super into like essential oils, and they're like this has this. <laughs> Oh, this has this healing energy. That's this is rose like water energy. for your agony or something. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly the same, obviously. So it's just like, like really specific herbs that they head. think are like gonna cure diseases. Uh, they like it's kind of like that, but they'll be like, black salt will make you like protected, like shit like that. Oh, okay. Um, or like this rock will bring you like love or some shit like that <laughs> that sounds cool though like but then again i would not want that to be my everyday routine is thinking about that yeah like, i feel like it's just like i've been hearing a conversation i'd be like oh cool and then never think about it again yeah that's kind of how i am like i'll burn sage every once in a while but i'm not like actively like going out of my way to like be involved I like it's my nightly sage burning yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. Maybe they're gonna fucking curse us for talking about this shit this way. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But nah, this is a cool episode. I feel like I do I feel like it's another thing where I do different territory. I've interviewed a photographer mm-hmm. and artist before. Mm-hmm. But mainly I'm with the SoundCloud rappers and they're talking about how they're better yeah. than everybody. So Yep, I you, you know, know a lot about that. Yeah, you know you know a lot about this that demographic. Um <laughs> that's it. Uh you have like links to social media of hers down below in our website. I'll link that. Um That'd be sick. See you guys in the next video.